Good morning, folks. This is from just under 11 months ago, early May 2015. For those who didn't catch our recent Fly on the Wall episodes, there is a very little known 330 days to one year solar cycle driven by magnetic band migrations from poles to equator. NASA has noticed the sun often remembers what it did nearly a year earlier and tries to recreate it. Well, back then it was M and X class solar flares, this time it is just a massive sunspot cresting around in the exact same location, minus the flaring. Iris caught a close-up view of half the large leading umbra and the smaller trailing positive spots that will be needed if he decides to give us anything. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we can see that the region is active, putting out a number of snaps and destabilizing a plasma filament just out ahead of it, which initially appeared that it may be close enough to center longitudes to affect Earth, but closer examination revealed that it twisted up and released due north away from Earth, like all the other eruptions as of late snap. Of course, that's all we have in common with suns of yore because flaring remains barely able to crack into C-class range. The sunspot is massive, but thus far it's been a picture of the Earth facing quiet as it isn't living up to its magnetic potential. Deep, dark core apparently just on a reconnaissance mission here. The only space weather we get these days is coronal hole streams, and this is a very weak one hitting yesterday as density rises in orange followed by speedy particles in yellow weak stream wasn't able to do much geomagnetically. However, the coronal holes kept coming and another stream is on its way to Earth from this big guy. More importantly, it surged the quake watch, face Earth last night, and a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake struck Afghanistan, but did so very close to the border with Pakistan in the north. It's where all those unreal weather catastrophes are taking place. We've showed them in these morning news videos and discussed them on recent Fly on the Wall episodes as well. Today, Folks, if you haven't made use of some of our free resources, please do so. The entire homepage of suspiciousobservers.org and magneticreversal.org are free and full of a ton of important information if you want to know more about Earth, Sun, and everything in between. Severe threat returning to the south tonight. Earth spot at Western Europe. We're going to see those and more as we do our pressure and radar forecast through the next 18 hours, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey! <laughs>